Welcome to our special broadcast for the Intersolar Award 2010. Will they, or they, or perhaps they win the award this year? Let's find out. The fact is, this is an unbelievably innovative branch, and every year the most innovative ideas receive the Intersolar Award at the Intersolar Europe. The award is presented in two categories, either in solar heating or photovoltaic. In the following short film, we will show you just what the award is all about. The Intersolar Award is to the solar industry what the Oscars are to the film industry. This year the award is being presented for the third time at the Intersolar Europe. The awards are presented by Solar Promotion, the organizers of the trade fair, and the Freiburger Wirtschaft und Messe GmbH in cooperation with the Federal Association for the Solar Industry. The Intersolar Award aims to provide an incentive for innovation. An incentive, but also recognition. We have both the demand and the need to continually improve in order to become competitive with conventional energies. There are a vast number of ideas, innovations and know-how covering the entire value chain. And these are rewarded here so that it is easier for the young entrepreneurs to do business. This year, companies from the photovoltaic production technology sector, along with all of the exhibitors at the Intersolar North America, have the opportunity to compete alongside the solar heating and photovoltaic sectors for the first time. As a result, more than 2,300 companies were eligible to participate. We are very pleased with the extremely good response. We now need more juries in order to judge the diverse range of submissions. This is a major challenge because ultimately innovations are concealed everywhere. The large number of participants proves that the Intersolar Award has established itself as the International Technology Prize for the Solar Branch. And it symbolizes the real importance of the Intersolar Europe. This is the coveted prize. This is the Intersolar Award 2010. And I can show it to you in secret in advance here in our Intersolar TV studio. One thing is certain, this has been the most difficult year ever for the jury, because they have received more submissions than ever before. And these submissions themselves are also the best ever. And now we will show you who ultimately took home the awards. Have fun. Today is an especially sunny day, at least for the 30 nominated participants. At the end of the day, there are three winners per category. In the solar heating and photovoltaic categories, and in the PV production technology category. In the solar heating category, F-Save Solartechnik GmbH won the award, with its especially effective and flexible heat buffer storage. In addition, the new CPC office system, the Kona Facade Collector also won. This development is a joint product from Frene und Reifo Metallbau GmbH, Hydro Building Systems GmbH, Ritter Energie und Umwelttechnik GmbH und Co. KG, and the Institute for Structural Design at Stuttgart University. The third award in the solar heating category went to the Berlin company Invenso GmbH, with its adsorption refrigeration machine. The machine transforms heat into cold. Although it sounds like a paradox at first, it works. Summer. Solar heating systems are working at peak performance. At the same time, this is also the peak demand for cooling. This is the secret behind a world first. The LTC adsorption refrigeration machine is the first to utilize zeolith. It works at low temperatures and utilizes the sun instead of electricity for cooling and heating. The device achieves almost 100% performance at only 65 degrees Celsius. It consumes a small amount of electricity and uses water as the cooling agent. In summary, a truly cool idea. With our technology, we are sure that we will be able to revolutionize a part of the cooling market because we barely use any electricity, thanks to the use of waste heat. In the future, that will definitely be one of the major issues. In the photovoltaic category, this year's solar awards went to ABB Schweiz AG with its S800 high-performance machine, to SMA Solartechnologie AG for its Sunny Central 800 CP 
Weatherproof Central Inverter and Gelagel Solar AG with its innovative transport and assembly system for large photovoltaic modules. This is a complete system for the entire process, from the manufacturing to the final assembly. An integrated approach, integrated solutions. The transport and assembly system for large photovoltaic modules covers the process from the production line to the construction site. All of the components work perfectly together and optimize both the handling and the assembly, an approach which advances photovoltaic technology and supports the development of the market for large modules. With me here is a true winner, Tony Nebel from Gelagel Solar. He, among others, has won the Intersolar Award this year, and he does not want to let go of this trophy. What did you win the award for? We won the award because we sat down and thought about how you can reduce the WOS EOS costs in the solar industry. We examined the logistics from the end of the module productions up to placing the module on the solar frame. And we constructed a robot which is capable of rapidly and cost-effective placing the large 5.7 square meter modules, among others. How would you come up with this idea? We investigated the large modules from the factories intensively and saw that the entire logistics chain was not very well thought out. And that is why we sat down and developed new concepts. And now, this is the result. And so now that you have won the Intersolar Award, what do you expect for the future? What does the prize mean for you? It is definitely an incentive to continue in the future and expand the large modules sector and to continue the development here. We hope that we will find many new partners here at Intersolar who we can work with on this. Thank you. Thank you. New this year is the inclusion of the PV production technology category. With the support of the Semi-PV Group, three winners were also selected in this category. Festo AG & Co. KG, Gemotech LTD, and last but not least, Gebrudo Schmidt were all presented with one of the coveted InterSolar Awards. Schmidt's innovation addresses process optimization. A process-oriented mentality. This philosophy characterizes the LTP-1500. The laser transfer printer is utilized for contact-free metallic coating of solar cells. This enables the manufacturing process to forego the use of pastes containing solvents. This eliminates one of the conventional drying steps. The modular design of the LTP-1500 makes it easy to integrate into existing production lines. Process optimization, which pays off. We are extremely happy because this represents a wonderful reward for the numerous investments and the major efforts towards innovation. Naturally, it is also a wonderful motivation for our employees. Not only the winners, but also the event organizers are extremely satisfied with the InterSolar Awards 2010. As different as the winning products are, they all demonstrate that the solar industry is on the road towards a sunny future. That was our special show covering the InterSolar Award 2010. We sincerely congratulate all of the winners, and if you want to participate in the InterSolar Award 2011, then you can obtain information about it from approximately February onwards at www.intersolar.de. We wish you the best of luck.